welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm eating some omelets here and it dawned on me that I'm sitting in this table all by myself. I have a beautiful view, but you know, I was thinking maybe there's a lot of people out there that live on their own and sometimes get lonely. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that because I've been living on my own for about 10 months now. And it's something so interesting because I've always lived in a house full of people. You know, I always, it was either my brother or, you know, my brother's friends were always over when we were kids. Then I moved into living with my mom and her ex-husband. So it was, you know, five of us in the house. And then recently it was my mom, my step, my, her new husband, and then her, his kid, in me and you know it's just always been a lot of people a lot of people and we are we talk loud we're Brazilian we talk loud we like to party we like having people over all the time and it was a big shift for me moving into a place that is so quiet I literally don't hear anything do you hear crickets nothing So when I moved in here, I would sit on the couch to read and I would actually hear the clock just ticking. And I just made a joke like this is what loneliness sounds like, you know? There's nothing. It's you could there's nothing to the point that you can hear the clock. And that to me was so crazy. So I really wanted to share with you some of the things that I do to not feel lonely because it's really easy to get in your head and be upset about things and overthink everything. But in the end of the day, is that really how you're supposed to act? Or should you take the opportunity that you're by yourself to learn about yourself and take care of yourself and, you know, be kind, listen to what's going on in here and in here. So some of the things that I do is journaling. If I do feel, you know, upset or something is going on that I don't quite know how to respond, I will journal because it helps me understand, you know, am I overthinking this? Am I looking at this from the wrong point? Um, should I, you know, really be doing it this way? What am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? And really observe, you know, what, how my responses are. And, you know, just trying to align better with what I do say and how I do act to make sure that, you know, I'm not being a hypocrite, you know, because I'm all about self-love. And if I don't actually do that in my real life, then I feel like I'm being a hypocrite. So I do take the time to really observe how I'm feeling and get in touch with myself mentally and emotionally. Another thing that I do, I have a lot of plants. Oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. I just can't. Hi. Um, so it's really nice and I do like to take care of them. So, you know, once a week I'll take everybody, all the plants, everybody, all the plants up to the, to the kitchen and I'll just, you know, I'll trim them. I'll get rid of, you know, any dead leaves or anything like that. I'll water them, get them really nice and talk to them. And honestly, I probably sound like a crazy woman, but it does help me you know, have some contact with life because there are days that I work remote and if I'm working on a project or something, I might not talk to anyone the whole day. Like how, how weird is that to not even say hi to anyone, you know, maybe by email or text or something like that, but not in person. So that to me is sometimes is weird and I miss just talking or having someone to listen. So I will talk to them. Yeah, maybe I am crazy. I don't know. Another thing I like to do is take care of myself, my body, cook a nice meal, you know, just sp take the time and spend that time taking care of yourself, you know, cooking something that's healthy, that's good, taking that time to really care for what you're putting into your body. And then I like to take care of the exterior. So I like to get dressed, even if I'm by myself 
all day long, I still put perfume on because I want to smell nice for me, you know? I don't need to wait for someone to smell me, <laughs> um, but I, I want to smell nice for me. So, you know, taking a nice long shower, doing like a body scrub or something like that, um, putting on a face mask and doing my eyebrows or, you know, just taking the time to take care of me and give myself that nice time, you know? Um, I don't recommend drinking if you live on, on your own because you're already vulnerable in your environment. So if you do drink or, you know, do drugs or things like that, you really have to be a little careful of you know, am I doing this just to relax or am I trying to use it as kind of a, an anchor, you know, um, or as a distraction. So I don't, don't do any of that. Last but not least, I love learning. I mean, I am so passionate. I'm, I, not because it's what I do. I teach for a living, but I just love learning. I love becoming better, you know, I, um, Patrick Bet David, he says, you know, it's all about the, the game. It's all about, you know, the, the growth and the game. It's not about the money. And, and to me, it's all about learning. You know, that's my game. That's the game I like to play is how much more can I know? How much more can I fit in here? How much more I can grow, you know, because I feel like, um, especially the past four years, I have become a giant and I, I want to keep growing and learning and absorbing. So I have this hunger within me to become better. I love learning. So I don't do a lot of TV or, you know, other things. Um, I do like to read a lot because I think I just fuel my mind with other people's perspective when I learn, when I read. And then I like doing like YouTube or things like that, um, LinkedIn learning, YouTube, uh, or like just doing a certificate or something like that to really focus on something specific that I'm trying to learn. So um, it's awesome and it's even more awesome, even better, when you get to apply those things and you actually see a shift and you see things happening and you're like, <gasps> mind blown. So I love learning and that's the one thing I probably will never ever stop doing is learning because I, I think that's the thing I'm most scared of is one day not be able to learn anything new. So I got to keep, keep this learning vibe. All right. So those are the things that I do in order to not feel lonely, but be alone. So, um, another thing I would add too is if you're feeling lonely, you know, that like, oh my God, I have no one, blah, blah, blah. First, you're probably overthinking. Second, call a friend, go out, go out to eat, go out dancing, go for a walk, you know, go if you're by yourself too, but you know, maybe nobody's available, go for a walk in your town, take your camera, take your phone, go for a walk, take some pictures and just let, you know, yourself kind of be in the moment and understand that, Hey, maybe yes, you're by yourself right now, but that doesn't mean that there's not people out there who care about you. So that is the message and I hope to see you again next time. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to this lovely channel and I'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye. Say bye to the people. <laughs>